Okay, here's my Lotus T580P Plus with NASA, and we've got a dead propeller. I'll just start him up. Okay, there's my idle. And on the NASA, I've got the idle speed set on high, the highest setting, which, according to some people, was supposed to fix the problem. Now I'll go higher on the controller, and you see there's nothing here, it's just dead. So if I, if I go any higher, I'll just flip it and smash the propellers. So it turned out, after trying every kind of setting and everything, I actually discovered that after a crash I had last, there was some damage oops, to one of the wires here. And one of the wires is actually broken, which means one of the phases of the three-phase motor is not working. I think that's the one there. Okay, here's a better picture. Okay, there you can see the broken wire. Now I've got to scrape the, scrape the wire clean to get the insulation off it. Scraping that coppery stuff off, or whatever's insulating it. If this joint, this solder joint I'm going to do fails when I'm flying, that means my quad will flip and crash dismally. So I've got to get it right. This is take two on the solder after failing the first time. Now I've moved those tiny wires that I can't even see closer together. I'm about to jam the old Allen wrench in here to hold it still, don't bump mate. To hold it still. All right. All right. I'll look at that with the microscope. These are great little $2 microscope off eBay with a light on it okay it looked like a successful connection with the soldering iron under the microscope but I'm gonna put glue on there and hold it all together because if it gets bumped that'll crack I'm sure okay I'm just gonna put super glue on the solder joint there this will just hold it together and seal it up and we'll just form a nice hard layer over it. Okay, that worked, we're back in action. So. All right, all fixed. Okay, what I've done here is stick these um, plastic discs I've just cut out, glued them on here to protect the windings of the motor in a crash from branches and grass and sticks and whatever that's going to stab the motor windings and cut more wires so I recommend anyone with this kind of quad or similar exposed windings on their motor just make some kind of shroud or guard to protect them <laughs> 